05 is when I returned from our deployment, and we've been here ever since. We found this place and built our house on it. Our nation was built on farmers and soldiers, and, and I, oftentimes they were one and the same. I joined at 19 years of age as an enlisted soldier. I was a combat engineer, jumping on a bus, going to the unknown with people you don't know. They're gonna yell and scream at you and make you a better person in the end. Uh, and then jumping on, a, jumping on a plane and going to the, you know, going to the Middle East. And that was, that was sure a growing experience for all of us. There's a lot of uh, veterans who are, uh, who don't come back quite the same as they were when they went. And, you know, I, I, I fall into that category. It doesn't matter if you're 18 years old or 85 years old, there's an instant bond between veterans. You know, you're, you're, you're never gonna come back quite the same way you left. And that was, we all understand that. My father and my grandfather, they've been farming my entire life. So uh, I was born into it and exposed it at a very young age and developed a real love for it. Well, farming is not an eight to five job. You don't clock in, you don't clock out. It's, it's, it's something you have to have a love for and want to do. There's a lot of similarities between the military in my mind and farming because you gotta be courageous to, to, to be a farmer. You gotta be willing to accept a challenge. You have to, you have to be willing to serve others. And that's what we try and strive to do on our farm. Our farm is, uh, it's called Holy Cow Farms. It's an all natural grass fed, grass finished operation. You typically keep about 40 head of animals. They're, they're Angus with a semi-Angus bull was with them right now. I want people to know how much I care. I care for them as a consumer. I care for the animals, and I want to provide that animal the absolute best life that it can live. And the farm has been extremely helpful for me. Uh, there's there's a real thing called agrotherapy, and I think there's something real about about working with animals, putting your hands in the dirt, and trying to tend to God's plan the best that, that you can. I'm Ryan Pace, I'm 47 years old and I've been farming my entire life.